Hey guys, today we're going to talk about what it costs to update your home. I'm going to walk you through our investment property and give you the bottom line on each upgrade so that you know what it costs to get your home in tip top shape. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I'm Kristen, a realtor in the DFW area. I know that buying and selling a home can be stressful. So my mission is to simplify the process and simplify your life. Update number one is paint. In this house, we went with agreeable gray, which is a neutral paint color. We chose that because it appeals to the broadest range of buyers and goes with just about every color palette. You can expect paint to cost about two to three dollars a square foot. And our investment in this property was about seven thousand dollars because we repainted everything. Next is fixtures. We chose to go with a transitional look because those are the best selling fixtures on the market. And believe it or not, it only cost us about $1,000 to upgrade all the fixtures in this home. Third is flooring. If your flooring is in bad shape, it can actually cost you thousands off of your sales price. So you might as well go ahead and give it a fresh update before it's time to sell. Flooring also costs between two and $3 a square foot. In this house, we spent about 5,000 on floors because we replaced carpet, tile, and installed a brand new water resistant vinyl plank. Fourth is appliances. Stainless steel appliances is almost a must have on every buyer's list these days. So it's a great investment that you will definitely get back when it comes time to sell. To replace all the kitchen appliances, you're probably looking at about $1,200. In this house, we spent a little more, around 2,200 because we had some special sized items and some built-ins. Number five, granite. The lowest level of granite costs about $30 a square foot, but in this house, we decided to upgrade to a level two, which was a little more expensive. Our final bill on the granite update was around $2,100. Next, and the real money makers when it comes time to sell, is an upgraded kitchen and bathroom. The bathrooms in this house were pretty outdated, so we ended up revamping everything from the tubs, toilets, showers, glass door, vanity, and fixtures. I would estimate we spent about $5,000 doing that complete overhaul. In most standard size bathrooms, you can probably expect the same. Now in the kitchen, we already talked about installing stainless steel appliances and granite. So there's a few other things you can do to finish it off, such as throw in a decorative backsplash, paint the cabinets, or add some hardware. Our final cost for updating this kitchen was around $5,000. Number eight, and a less popular item to talk about when upgrading a home is the AC system. Although this technically doesn't add a ton of value when it comes time to sell, it can definitely break the deal if you have an old AC. The cost for updating an AC system is around $7,000 to redo everything. If you're just looking at a unit, you're probably talking about five to 6,000. Number nine, and another major item that buyers are concerned about is the roof. Typically, this doesn't cost you a whole lot to update, but this is definitely a non-negotiable item when it comes time to sell, because if the roof doesn't pass inspection, your buyer won't be able to get financing. Number 10, and probably the easiest update you can make, is landscaping. When we got a hold of this house, the yard was a big fat mess. The backyard had overgrown weeds and brush everywhere. The trees in the front yard and the bushes were also overgrown and pretty scraggly looking. So we invested about $1,000 to bring in a crew to clean it up in a few days and get it market ready. Well, that wraps up our home upgrades. If you're totaling that list in your head, I'll break it down for you. In this house, we ended up spending about $25,000 to revamp all the cosmetics. If you'd like more information on buying and selling, be sure to check out my other videos. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for next time.